you don't want the smoke They go right to your nose Then straight to the dome Now you a ghost I swear you a joke Yo, what's good, gang? It's the homie Jojo back for another video And today we gonna be talking about if Smoke Perp can make a comeback Now, I'm pretty sure within the time from 2016 to 2019 You guys heard of Smoke Perp It may be because of his best friend, Low Pump or it might be because he just straight up made classic music that really never got appreciation, you feel me? And I feel like people are starting to appreciate it after he fell off or whatever, you know what I mean? But now that everybody's coming to the realization that, hmm, his music was actually pretty fire, but if he didn't do all this stupid antiques and had made a name for himself basically, maybe he would have still been popping inside of the music industry. But my thing is, hmm, if he could have did that, how come he can't do that right now and build his name up again, you know what I mean? And that's the question for today's video. Before we get into the video, I want everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, boys, we're literally 20 subscribers away from 2K, so click it, share it to a friend, your grandma, don't matter, we just need to turn up. And also follow my Instagram, at JojoScout underscore. Now, can Smoke Perp come back? Let's find out. Now, like I said earlier, boys, I'm really pretty sure that you guys heard of Smoke Perp's name, whether it was out of love or hate. Now, he rolled with Lil Pump, so you knew that the hate came with it, you feel me? He blew up before Lil Pump. He actually put Pump onto all this music stuff and really got him into rapping. But somehow, someway, Lil Pump surpassed Smoke Perp. Now, as you guys know, back in like 2017 or just the old SoundCloud era period, if you blew up, you had to have a sidekick. If you blew up, you had to have had a sidekick. Okay, we got X, Ski Mask, you got Skies, Landing Cube, you know what I mean, YBN Amir, you know what I'm saying, YBN Almighty J. That's really just how it went back then. So, somehow, even though me personally, I could say Smoke Perch music was better than Pumps, bro. He was a sidekick, no matter how you look at it. Now, if you saw a sidekick, if the group falls, you fall in two. I'm sorry to tell you. And somehow, Lil Pump fell off. No matter what, even if Smoke Perp's music was fire, he was going to fall off regardless, bro. Now, I'm not going to act like Smoke Perp didn't do nothing for him to fall off. Because at the end of the day, he was doing dumb, stupid antics just like Pump was. Even though his music was fire, he never got the credit because... Hey, if you're being funny, if you're just trying to get clout off or doing stupid things, people are going to overlook that. You know what I mean? So that's basically what happened. So after a while, the joke kind of got played out. Kind of like what I said inside the What Happened to Lil Pump video. The joke just got played out. It's not going to be funny. After so much time, you really got to have quality music. And I can give that to Smoke Perp because the music was really good. It's just the clout chasing and all the, you know what I'm saying, stupid antics got overlooked by the good music i'm sorry i meant to say the good music got overlooked by the clout chasing and stupid antics now smoke perp really wasn't even doing that type of thing back then me personally i can say that like yeah he was always rolling with punk but until he saw how successful punk um got after doing all the stupid clout chasing then that's when smoke perp decided to do that me personally i feel like if Lil Pump and Smoke Perp didn't blow up together or they just wasn't close like that, I feel like Smoke Perp would have been huge. As you guys know, Travis Scott was actually trying to sign this dude to Cactus Jack Records. I feel like if he did sign, Travis Scott would have led him inside the right direction and really put him in, you know what I'm saying, made everyone around him winners and that's what he would have been of. You feel me? If you surround yourself with losers, you won't be a loser, you feel me? But he just went the wrong route and really went under Lil Pump's wing and Lil Pump didn't know what to do with his own career. How was he supposed to save Smoke Perp's career? How was he supposed to bring that up? It really didn't make sense. So me personally, I genuinely believe that if Lil Pump wasn't like, I don't know, I guess the hero was side the group and then Smoke Perp's the little sidekick, Smoke Perp would have been huge. He wasn't supposed to be no sidekick to nobody let alone Lil Pump. But I feel like now in 2022, they really distance each other. Maybe they're still close, who really knows? But all I'm saying is, on social media, you don't see them together like that, you feel me? I feel like Smoke Perp's really got a name for himself now. And also, like, really, he's just been doing him on social media. He's not doing no stupid clout chasing because, hey, we saw how that turned out. And 
he, I guess he got the joke, you feel me? I'm not the joke, but he got the message that the joke's not funny, basically. So he stopped doing that, which is very good because, hey, nobody wants to see that on social media no more. I feel like those times are done. You can have fun, live your life, be a good artist. When I say that, I mean have a good image. I feel like that's what he's doing, but the clout chasing, cut it, it's done. And I feel like he got the message just by that. He's just doing him, trying to put out some quality music that the fans is actually rocking with. If you guys actually listen to Smoke Purse music that he's been producing in 2022, bro, it's actually heat. I'm not even gonna lie. Some people be like, yo, this a wannabe Cardi, or oh, he's trying to steal the underground sound, but... If you guys listen to his music that he makes now and the old music that he used to make, they're very similar. So he can really get a pass with this and get away with it and nobody really going to notice. They're going to be like, oh, snap, the old purpose back. The reason you don't hear people saying the old purpose back because nobody wants to listen to it. Because the old music that he's putting out, or not even the old music, just the fact that he fell off and was doing annoying things on social media it gave them a distasteful taste and what i just said gotta be facts because recently this dude did a show and i forgot where he did it in but my boy aaron speaker made a video on it and i guess it was like a venue that was supposed to hold a capacity of 2,000 people and like only 40 people went only 40 people went dog i don't know if that's the exact number because it low-key looked like it's a little bit more than 40 people but Bro, literally, the show did terrible. The show did terrible, bro. This got to go what I'm saying. His music is fire. His old music is fire. Who wouldn't want to go turn up to it at a concert? It's just from the fact that, bro, you fell off. Nobody wants to go to an artist that fell off concert or nobody wants to invest in an artist that fell off. Nobody's even keeping up with them. So that's my thing, bro. If you want to come back, you got to have the right promotion. The music is right. It just has to have the right ears listening to it. You feel me? And I feel like that's where he's taking it L at right now personally, bro. Because, hey, he's trying to go on a tour soon. This dude is headlining the tour. It's not to say he's the under act or the, you know what I'm saying, the first person performing. No, this dude is headlining the tour. And it's with the same venues just like that. So who knows, bro? This could possibly be bad for his name because it's just going to remind people that you fell off. It's going to be on Academics, Domus Live page. Yo, this dude went on a tour and it's not selling at all. He's going to have to cancel. I believe something like that actually happened in 2021 to him, if I'm not mistaken. But, bro, that's just going to be 10 times worse if you go on this tour and it doesn't do well. They're just going to remind all the fans about you, but not in a good way, not for the music that you're putting out, which is actually really good. It's going to remind the fans that you fell off, bro. And that'll be terrible for his career and that will really solidify the you know what i'm saying the can he come back quotes no if he goes on this tour and it does how it did the other night no he can't come back if he cancels the tour and works on putting out a project well not even a project me personally i have to say put out mad singles gain some traction off of that and once you see you got a little buzz going on and the comeback quotes and the comeback comments come up then yeah you can drop an album but make sure you gain some traction off the music that you're putting out first before you go on that tour and embarrass yourself bro once he starts doing that you know what i mean get the right promotion get the right people around him get good producers good promoters get a better manager i don't know if he signed get a better label than yeah bro there's a good possibility that smoke perp can come back you feel me but my best bet is if he goes on that tour it's done zip it up throw it in the trash it's done it's out the window but yeah boys i want to hear what you guys got to think about this inside the comment section down below comment if you guys think he can or can't come back bro i want to see what you guys is thinking you feel me bro but like i said earlier we're 20 subscribers away from 2k so go ahead click it share it to your grandma rp if she's gone you feel me just send it to somebody else possibly but make sure that you follow my instagram at jojo scout underscore you already know what's going on there bro like I said, we always lit everywhere, you feel me? Any social media platform, we're always lit there. So, yeah, you already know how we getting down. But, hey, I'll check out for the day. I might upload twice. I don't even know if you guys show love to this. Then maybe, you feel me? Maybe. But, hey, Fufu Gang, Rap or Lifestyle, Fufu Hunted, Fufu Blood. I'm out. Gang.